Ladies and gentlemen, the Steam Deck is incredibly popular. A lot of people are talking about it, and in fact, a lot of people are criticizing some things about it, and one of those things is the battery life. A lot of people talk really bad stuff about the battery life of this guy here, the Steam Deck. Now, I really want to clarify, the battery life of this machine is not perfect, it's not incredible, but it's not trash either. And a lot of people are saying that it's trash, and a lot of people are saying things like, hey, the Steam Deck doesn't even last for two hours. And that is a lie. This thing can last longer than people think. And in fact, I'm gonna show it in this video, and I'm gonna show you exactly how you can make your battery life last longer on your Steam Deck. Because a lot of people play their games on this machine without knowing that they can configure certain things to make it last longer. So, yeah. First of all, let me thank you all for the incredible support my Steam Deck videos are getting. I'm really surprised. Now, this channel won't be only uh, focused on Steam Deck. Um, it's just video games in general, video games hardware, even tech. I would, I would love to talk about tech in general, but yeah, video games, tech, hardware. But right now, the Steam Deck is just something so amazing that I really want to make videos about it. And yes, Ladies and gentlemen, wow, it's just incredible. And thank you guys for the support. Always remember that if you like video games, if you like the Steam Deck, click that like button and obviously click the subscribe button. So like that, you will receive your, the notifications each time I upload a new video. Because a lot of people watch my videos and are not subscribed, so subscribe. It's totally free. So let's start with the demonstration showing you guys how the Steam Deck can actually last longer. So here we are with the Steam Deck and we're gonna try three games. We're gonna try The Witcher 3, Tiny Tina's Wonderland, which is a game that came out very recently. And we're gonna try Doom 3 BFG Edition. Now one game was released uh, pretty much this year. Another game was released back in 2015, if I'm not mistaken, The Witcher 3, and Doom 3, a game that was released decades ago already. So it's a cool thing to show these games because you can see how we can play around with the battery life so it can last longer. So we're gonna start with The Witcher 3, which is this middle ground thing. So The Witcher 3 is a really incredible game, open world RPG, it's really awesome. It has pretty good graphics even to this day, I mean, it's still pretty nice visually, and I love it. I love The Witcher 3. Now, here's the thing. The Witcher 3 on the Steam Deck can run pretty much at 60 FPS if you have it at low to medium settings, and if you have everything unlocked, right? The, the whole power of your system, if you have it unlocked, the thermal limits, everything, everything is unlocked, frames per second, and yeah, the game can run at 60 FPS smoothly, but, the problem with that, and this is the, the, the biggest mistake that a lot of reviewers of the Steam Deck do, and that is that they say that the battery life lasts very little because they are running the games without setting up the TDP limit, without setting up the frames per second, because some games don't need to run at 60 frames per second. Now, The Witcher 3, since it's a single player experience and we are just playing on the go and we want our machine to last long, I rather play it at 30 FPS. So if I set The Witcher 3 at 30 FPS with a TDP limit at 8 watts, The Witcher 3 is gonna last for three hours. Yes, The Witcher 3 on the Steam Deck will last for three hours. Wow, that's pretty insane. You can see the numbers here in the video. It's pretty insane, it's pretty good. Three hours of The Witcher 3, that's pretty good, honestly. And the way it looks on the Steam Deck, with the medium graphics settings, it looks pretty good. I like it a lot. On a screen like this, on a small screen, playing The Witcher 3 on medium settings, 30 FPS, I think it's pretty good. It's nice. And also resolution, native 800p, I love it. It works wonders, it's beautiful. And yeah, 
Remember, when we had the settings at 60 FPS, everything unlocked without any thermal powers or any limits at all, with nothing configured, the game would last only for one hour 40 minutes, one hour 30 minutes more or less, not even two hours. And this is what a lot of people get when they're playing with their Steam Decks and when they're doing their reviews, they're saying, oh, the Steam Deck lasts for less than two hours. Yeah, of course, if you don't put your TDP limits, yeah, it will last very little. You're playing very powerful games at 60 FPS and all that stuff. Yeah, it's gonna last for a little time. So next, Tiny Tina's Wonderland, a game that came out this year. A game that again, it's pretty demanding, especially on the Steam Deck. And this game is pretty interesting. I have to play it at low settings if I really wanna have an optimal battery life situation. So Tiny Tina's Wonderland, I have it at the TDP limit at eight watts again. 8 watts, and not only that, we have it at 30 FPS. And the game will last again at around three hours. Slightly less than three hours, maybe. It's a game that I think it's more demanding than The Witcher 3. Again, it's a game that came out this year. It's normal, but yeah, almost three hours of battery life, and that's pretty good. Not only that, I mean, you could run this game at 40 FPS, and I would even say at 50 FPS, if you have everything at the low settings and if you unlock the TDP limit. But we're going again through the same issue. If you unlock the TDP limit and if you unlock those FPS, guess what? The battery life is gonna be lower. It's gonna be shorter. So this is a matter of you as the player, how much you want the Steam Deck to last, how long you want it to last. You're gonna be on a, in a train in a very long trip. You need those three hours or four hours, whatever the time you need. You gotta squeeze this and you gotta put this at the lowest frame rate possible, which is 30. Because I mean, you could have it lower than 30, but <laughs> it's unplayable. So 30 FPS with a low TDP limit, with low graphics settings. So like that, you have a nice smooth frame rate and smooth performance and nice battery life. So that's pretty good. Tiny Tealess Wonderland looks beautiful still in low settings. So it's not that bad. It's not a huge sacrifice. Again, we're playing in a seven inch display, and this is very small, it's not gonna look horrible in low settings with this screen. Trust me, it won't. It looks pretty damn good. So, now Doom 3 BFG Edition. Now this is a good example to show you guys how old games or even um, indie games that are not super demanding can last a lot on the Steam Deck. So, 60 FPS, Doom 3 BFG Edition, obviously every graphical setting at the max because it's a very old game. And not only that, I have the TDP limit at four watts. Four watts for Doom 3 BFG Edition, 60 FPS, and the game lasts for five hours. You can check it out there. It's pretty much around the five hours mark. And that's just pretty good. Pretty impressive to be honest, because since it's an old game, the Steam Deck can run it pretty nicely without, without sweating at all, and it can run the game pretty nicely. Again, five hours. Now, I can even go further, and I could run the game at 30 FPS, so imagine, you know, I need that battery life even longer than five hours. I can put Doom 3 at 30 FPS, TDP limit at three watts, and guess what? We're getting five hours and 30 minutes of battery life. Wow, that's just, next level, it's huge. And this is what really actually makes the Steam Deck so unique, so special, and so good, is that the level of customization of the experience is huge. And a lot of reviewers and a lot of people who talk about the Steam Deck miss this point. Yes, you can customize controls, you can customize everything, but you can also customize even the battery life. You can customize how long you want your machine to last. And that's something so important that a lot of people are missing when they're talking about the Steam Deck. The Steam Deck can last longer for longer game sessions if you configure it right. If you take your time to configure the game and configuring the system settings. So like that, you can enjoy the game for longer. If you're outside, you don't have a place to charge this thing and you need to squeeze that battery life as much as you can, you gotta configure the games the best way possible so they can last longer. So again, it depends on the game, right? You can even use the 40 FPS or the 40 Hertz 
refresh rate, which is that sweet spot in between. It's not as demanding as 60 FPS, and it's not as battery life saving as the 30 FPS. It's a nice middle ground if you don't need too much battery life, and at the same time you don't need too much performance. 40 FPS is also a really good situation in games like, for example, again, Witcher 3. And sometimes you can even play it at 40 FPS, which I do. And hey, I have the game running for two hours and 30 minutes instead of three hours, but I have that nice butter smooth frame rate, but it still lasts longer than two hours. So I'm pretty happy with that. So ladies and gentlemen, please let me know in the comment section down below what you think about the Steam Deck and about its battery life. Of course, it's not super incredible, but it's good enough. And a lot of people are missing these things, these configurations, these settings that they can check, they can tweak, and it's gonna make their system last longer. So let me know in the comment sections. By the way, if you reach the end of the video, click the like button, subscribe, and click that bell notifications button. So like that, you're gonna get those notifications each time I upload a new video. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. And remember that life is beautiful. Now see you in the next video.